Hey guys, my name's Clint Tompkins from McLean's RV and Rockwall. I want to thank y'all for uh, tuning in to our uh, McLean's first ever virtual RV show. Uh, got a real nice unit here I want to show you. It's going to be my Winnebago Sunstar 29V. It's a Class A gas motorhome. Uh, this one being one of my last 2020s, it's going to have the uh, Triton Ford V10 on the uh, Ford chassis. It's going to have uh, about 320 horsepower, about 460 pounds of torque. Uh, this is a really good unit because it's, uh, it's about that 29 foot mark, so it's kind of right in that sweet spot. It's not too big, it's not too little. You're not going to have any problems uh, getting in and out of parks, things of that nature. Um, it's got a lot of really good features that I want to walk you through. So uh, we'll just kind of start here on the outside. Again, this unit's going to be about 29 foot, so not too big. So we can start on the side here. This one is going to be equipped with the side cameras. So that's a really nice feature, especially when you're in a Class A. So anytime you're using the blinker, uh, getting in and out of traffic, you're going to have a screen inside. Uh, that When you're blinking, that camera is going to pop up on your screen there. So it's going to show you what's down next to you, anything that you might not be able to see just from your mirror. Uh, so that's a really nice feature to have there. And uh, being a Class A, one of the main benefits is exterior storage. So you've got some really good storage on this guy. Uh, full pass through, so that will go to the other side for your long items like your umbrellas, tables, chairs, things like that. And a uh, secondary bay here. Now, this happens to come with the uh, nice exterior grill. So that's just kind of a bonus that does come with this particular unit here. And that will tie in with your outside entertainment. So. Nice big TV, uh, designated speakers here if you want to watch the game or what, whatever. Uh, really nice outside kitchen. So in a Class A, this is a pretty good bonus. They don't make a whole lot of units that are going to have a nice kitchen like that. So uh, nice big fridge, actually outside sink, uh, you got some power down here, got to have the bottle opener, uh, really good storage. Got some drawers here, uh, cutting board set up with some under storage there. And then also you'll have uh, another uh, more or less prep space there. So works out really good when you're trying to entertain outside. Now with that grill I mentioned, that is gonna tie into your quick propane port. So that's gonna be right here so you can have that grill set up right next to the kitchen and have everything rocking and rolling kind of all in one place. Uh, along with your side cameras, you're also going to have a rear camera. So that is really nice. Uh, anytime you're backing up, that camera is going to pop up on your screen. Anytime you're towing, uh, I like to leave it on while I'm driving so I can watch my tow vehicle, make sure it's not doing anything crazy, make sure you, no flats or anything like that. Uh, you will have 5,000 pounds of towing on this, so that's going to handle most Jeeps, small cars, uh, bikes, motorcycles, boats. Uh, as crazy as you want to get there. Uh, it does have roof access ladder. Uh, this particular unit will have fiberglass roof. So when it comes to motorhomes, fiberglass is the way to go. It's going to give you the most durability there. And uh, we'll move around to the side here. So this is going to be your uh, Cummings Onan generator. Now this particular unit, what's really nice about it it's being 30 foot, it is a 50 amp unit. So you are gonna have two ACs on it. So when you're cooling off 30 feet with two ACs, uh, it's gonna get cold in there. So down here in Texas, you can never have too much AC. Uh, walking back here, this is gonna be your power. So anytime you're at a park, this is where your cord's gonna come out. It's how you tie the unit into your shore power. So it's gonna operate everything without having to run the generator there. Now this is a, a really cool secondary actual storage and it is passed through as well so it's pretty rare to get that uh, two option pass through there. So fishing poles, things like that, it's going to be a great place to stash those. Uh, this will be your gas port so that's where you're going to fill up when you need gas. Moving on down. So this is going to be your, uh, your dump station so this is where your dump hose is going to be. Uh, you've got a nice cut through in the floor here, so if you are set up at a place where you have your own personal uh, dump station, you can run your hose, leave it hooked up. You don't have to worry about uh, having it hang out the door, 
You can close the door, lock it. Nobody can mess with it. Um, it's also going to have your valve. It's also going to be where your black tank flush is and your freshwater inlet. So anytime you're at a park or anything like that, most of the time they're going to offer you a water hose that you can tie in so you're not driving around constantly with a full tank burning gas unnecessarily. Now another thing that's really nice is it does come with the house filter so you will have a uh, filtered water so that's nice. Now this will tie back into that previous pass-through we talked about so storage on the side there you can see how it goes all the way through so lots of good space to store all your goodies and this is gonna be your propane so propane's built in uh, this one's gonna have about 18 gallons worth of capacity so do everything you need to do there now something else on this side since we're here really long basically full wall slide so driver's side the whole slide side wall is going to come out now uh, this does come standard with the slide topper as well so if you do happen to be camping in the woods uh, anywhere you're going to get leaves sticks debris like that falling uh, that's going to keep that out of your slide so it's going to keep you from having to get on the roof clean all that stuff out uh, you don't want anything in there when you bring that slide in that's going to jam in your seal could create a place where you could cause a leak or something so nice feature like I said again come standard all right guys since we're still outside I want to run uh, a few things by you about uh, Winnebago and their manufacturing process uh, some of the things that really makes them special from a lot of the other guys um, so one of the classic Winnebago features is their uh, superstructure so basically uh, around your driving compartment you have a full steel roll cage um, so from safety standpoint nobody else does that so you've actually got steel in your pillars uh, steel over the top steel floorboard steel firewall uh, surprisingly most of the other guys are not using those materials in that area and uh, those are really specific areas where you need to have that for safety in the rare event that you do have an accident things like that now with that full steel cage, what that allows them to do is you're actually mounting your windshield to that steel. Uh, surprisingly, most brands aren't doing that. So again, structurally, makes for a really solid unit. Um, something else that's really neat about Winnebago, you might not know, whenever they're designing a new uh, motorhome, part of their safety testing is they actually pick these up with a crane upside down and drop them on their roof and you have to be able to exit your windows and your doors. Uh, so I don't see anybody else doing that. Again, that's just something else that Winnebago does that is really special. Um, they've been in business for over 60 years and they've got a lot of time, a lot of feedback to really know what a customer wants and what makes for a good coach. So um, now another part of their manufacturing they do that's really special is their e-coating. So every part of this frame, whether you can see it or not, is all e-coated. So that's gonna prevent from rust, things of that nature, uh, creates longevity in your product. Um, another thing that they really do that's real nice is the technology they use. Like I said, they've been in business for so long, they've invested the money where it really counts, and that's gonna be uh, CNC machines, uh, computer controlled lasers. So when they're cutting their framing, they're using lasers and again, CNC machines. So it really creates a high tolerance, a tight fit, which minimizes rattles, uh, just makes for a really nice unit. So that being said, we'll step inside and see what's going on inside. All right, guys, so we're inside now. So uh, some of the really nice thing about uh, just a Class A in general is gonna be this whole front driving compartment. So lots of space. Uh, this particular one does come with the overhead bed. Uh, this particular bed, in my opinion, is one of the better setups that is out there. Uh, I know this one has been tested up to 1,200 pounds. Technically, they rated at 600 just for safety. Um, but what's nice is it will actually come all the way down 
to the top of the chair here. So it's going to give you the most room out of any of the other bed systems. You know, most beds, they come down a little ways. You basically got to roll into it. This one, you can almost sit up in it. Gives you lots of headroom. You don't have to worry about bumping your head, getting up in the middle of the night and stuff. So um, something else that's really cool is when you're parked, both of these chairs are actually going to swivel around. So if you've got guests, uh, friends, you can actually utilize this as uh, seating space to interact with them. Uh, so that's really cool. You do have the table here. Uh, this is removable. Uh, does make for a great spot if you want to pull over on a long trip, have some lunch or something. Both chairs will turn in together, give you a spot to eat there. Um, this particular one does have a really cool workstation here. So that flips out, gives you some storage. You got power down there if you want to plug in your laptop, phones, whatnot there. So that's really cool. Uh, of course, you've got your uh, camera here, or your, I'm sorry, monitor, which is where you're going to watch all your cameras, uh, your radio, all that good stuff. And then, of course, uh, standard's going to be your auto level. So you do have that down there. You're going to pull into your campsite, hit one or two buttons. Unit's going to level itself out. You don't have to get out. No sweating or anything like that. And then, uh, you know, all your normal driving features there and uh, you will have an electric MCD sunshade. So when you're parked, that comes down, that creates your privacy. It can also act as a giant sunshade. So that's a nice feature. Uh, you do have some speakers and stuff built into there, of course. Uh, so kind of moving back into here, uh, what's really cool about this particular floor plan is uh, just the layout in general. For an under 30 foot unit, you've got your dinette uh, directly across from your sofa. So again, if you have guests, you know, you're all in the same kind of area. You're not yelling to try to talk to each other. Uh, lots of good storage here, you know, storage up top. Got your TV there. Got storage underneath the seats as well. And then something on this one that's really cool is your slide out tray here. So good spot for food, cans, things of that nature. <clears throat> kind of getting into the kitchen here. Nice double uh, undermount stainless sink. Nice big uh, faucet head there. Good storage. Now since I'm here, something else that's really nice about Winnebago is uh, they're one of the only guys that actually manufactures over 80% of their own stuff. So your benefit here is, uh, you know, say you've had this couple years, for some reason you break your door, Every piece in here is gonna have this little number here. That's your serial number. So five years from now, you call up Winnebago, hey, I broke this door, I need to get another one. Anybody else you call, they're gonna say, well, let me call my supplier. Let me see one, if they're still in business. Let me see two, if they're still making that. With Winnebago, they make it in-house. So you don't ever have to worry about not being able to find those parts and stuff. So another thing that makes Winnebago really special. Uh, now you do have a really nice sofa here as well. That will jackknife out. Gives you another spot to sleep on top of your overhead bed and your dinette. So really stack the kids in here, the guests if you dare. Uh, three burner cooktop. Now you also do have convection microwave here. Uh, really good storage here. And uh, notice the full extension. So it comes all the way out. You're not having to reach back in there trying to grab the stuff in the back and that's gonna be for all your drawers, so nice feature there. Uh, and then the other thing is their control panel. So all of your controls are all centrally located. They're not spread out throughout the unit, so you're constantly trying to find them. Uh, this is gonna be your overhead bed control. So it does have an on-off switch, so you wanna lock it, you can, so the kiddos can't mess with it. Uh, gonna have your slide control here. Uh, this particular unit does have solar on it, so you're gonna have your solar controller uh, anytime you're parked, it's basically trickle charging your house batteries, so nice feature to have. Of course, you got your generator start, your hours, uh, your water heater, your water pump, uh, your uh, gauges here. It's going to tell you how full or empty your fresh tank, gray tank, all that good stuff, your propane, uh, your AC control, inverter control all that stuff, all in one space. So it's easy to find, you always know where it's at, you just come, use it as needed. Uh, something that's nice in their bathroom area, 
they actually give you a built-in towel rack. So it gives you a spot, hang your towels there. Uh, really nice space in the bathroom. Actual solid door on your shower. Uh, nice big mirror. You got the ventilation fan in there. Moving back into your bedroom. Again, you're gonna notice another AC back here. Again, this has two ACs, so as cold as you wanna get it. A uh, nice big door for privacy here. That'll come all the way across. You've got uh, this particular one's outfitted with the queen bed. Now it does have really good storage. You've got the nice gas struts. It's gonna hold that up for you. Now this is where your uh, ladder to your overhead bed in the front is gonna live. And uh, something that's really nice too is the nooks next to the bed. So you've got power, USB, you know, if you need to charge the phones or if you run CPAP or you just want a spot to stick some water for the middle of the night, really good area there. Uh, nice closets on the side, more overhead storage. So in front of the bed, you're gonna have your main closet area here. So three big doors. Uh, lots of good space, you know, plenty of room if you're doing a little bit longer trip or cross country, you're going to be able to have adequate uh, clothing storage so it'll make it through the whole trip there. Uh, nice big drawers down here, again full extension on everything and uh, got a couple hiding down here. You do have a little kind of desk workspace area, you got some power, your TV as well. And uh, something that's pretty cool, a little kind of hidey storage back here under the bed. And then of course your, uh, your mirror for the ladies when you're getting ready for your day there. Um, but that's going to be pretty much it for this unit. Again, this is going to be my 2020 Winnebago Sunstar 29V. And I uh, just want to thank you guys for tuning in to uh, McLean's uh, first online virtual RV show. And uh, again, my name's Clint Tompkins. I'm out at the Rockwall location. And uh, as good as this show has been, there's nothing like coming in in person, putting foot in here, see what the space actually is. So if anybody's inter interested in this unit, please come out and see me. And uh, McLean's, thanks you a lot for tuning in. Uh, we're very appreciative and we'd love to earn your business. Okay.